day everyone how you all doing this i just want to share a quick video about an industry that i've been a part of for the last 20 years one of the best industries in the world in the country the insurance industry so today i want to share a video to kind of talk to you about an opportunity that you can do on a part-time basis for those of you that might be looking for something to do part-time you know i want to share that with you but um my name is douglas is a with Lago Financial Services. So sit back and let me go over this quick PowerPoint with you. So the question is, where will you be? Now we found out for every 100 people studying their careers, the following situation exists at age 65. We've seen that 25% uh, of those people are either dead and they die with one, no life insurance policy, um, two, with a lot of debt, you know, bills and leave their family financially ruined sometimes. The other 20% have an annual income below the poverty level. These are the folks that you, you've, you probably have a, somebody like that in your family or that you know that depends on relatives, friends, and the federal government for support. 51% have an annual income above the poverty level, but must reduce their standard of living at retirement. These are the folks that you've seen working at Walmart, McDonald's, all sorts of places at age 65, because again, you know, they just did not, um, and a lot of them probably worked hard, had a lot of great, you know, put a lot of money away in their retirement, but they ran out of money. You know, they ran out of money, and they have to go back to work. Or oh, the, the market crashed or whatever, just like we experienced in 2008, and that people had to go back to work. Then only 4% achieve financial independence, 4%. So what are those 4% doing differently from the rest of the population? That's a question that I've always had at the back when I first joined this industry 20 years ago. Why is it that only a certain people achieve financial independence at retirement? And I started doing my research and started understanding this industry and started understanding some of the things that goes on. So hopefully you, 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 know, you could go on this ride with me. See, it's a paradox in the world's richest nation, which is this country that I love so much. Millions of people live in poverty millions folks that's a lot of people and it's so sad that that's happening in the in the greatest nation of the world that every human on the face of this planet want to live in america and look at what's happening to the population so folks people don't plan to fail they just fail to plan and it's so sad that in our school system you know i saw an article on cnn the other day um, our school system, they teach sex, sex education to our, to our kids, but nobody's teaching financial literacy. And that's something. So the reason, one of the main reasons I'm sharing this video is because of these statistics right here. When I first saw this 20 years ago, I was like, man, you know, there's a problem. And unfortunately, it still exists till today. And we need to do something about it. So I joined a company called American Classic Agency in 1999, and I've been with them since then. What did I join? Well, because of the opportunity with the company. One, inflation-proof opportunity, you know, where you could secure your future, where you have experienced agents that will train you in the business. There's no inventory, no territory restriction, great leadership, no major investment on your part and no fees to join the business. That's awesome, especially when you, you're trying to make it. So in American Classic, you're number one. You know, you're number one. We've committed to our sales force. Our sales force, our agents come first. That's the way we see it. We believe if, I, if we could make sure our agents are are taken care of, then you know what? They'll do a better job taking care of the middle income America. American Classic Agency is a com company that offers you a chance to build a legacy and a great lifestyle by being in business for yourself and not by yourself. 
We give you all the support it requires for you to succeed. Now, that's the company I want to be a part of. How about you? So when it comes to how do we support the agents? Well, we support our agents in a variety of ways. One is we support you with teaching you. We have life insurance annuities, how to properly understand them and, and be able to explain them properly to your clients. Illustrations and products that we offer, final wish planning, tax-free income solutions, advanced sales attorney to help you, company and those TPAs, you know, that TPA stands for third-party administrators, risk management solution, retirement planning resources, large case management, proven lead system, daily distributions, high-risk case management, dedicated underwriting, sales training, and website solutions. We bring that to you. So basically, we want to make sure that you understand that you might be independent, but you're never alone. We're always around to help you. So first, before jumping into any type of industry, you need to first of all understand how big, how large is this industry that we're getting into. So let's look at the financial service industry, especially the insurance, the life insurance industry, because financial services, it's, it's big. Okay, so let's look at the life insurance part of the financial service industry. So in, in 2016, and this is a fact sheet by a company called American Council of Life Insurers. It's called ACLI, the they independent company. So they did a, uh, they, they pull up statistics, and you could go on their website, you could pull up statistics for your own particular state. So here's for the state of Maryland. They paid $9 billion in life benefits to residents in 2014. They paid $2 billion in annuity benefits to residents in 2014. Residents have $647 billion in total life insurance coverage. Individual life insurance coverage purchased in 2014 by residents is $31 billion. Residents own 4 million individual life insurance policies. Average coverage is $105,000 per policyholder. Now, look at the group life coverage. $244 billion. Now, look at the amount of money right here on this where it says $85 billion. That's how much they invest to develop, you know, jobs, or finance, business development, and services in Maryland. On the, on the right here where it says life insurance, they provide $11 billion in mortgage loans and own $105 million in real estate. Now, the life insurance industry, they generate 32,000 jobs in the state of Maryland. This is just for the state of Maryland. There's about 430 life insurance that are licensed to do business in Maryland, and three are domiciled in the state. Domiciled means they, 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 they are residents of Maryland. Now, when we look at across the U.S., across America, look at that. 75 million American families count on life insurance products. The life insurance industry pays out $1.5 billion every day. Products are available through group plans and individual policies. Life insurers provide financial security and peace of mind. More than one out of every $6 of Americans' long-term savings is in permanent life insurance and retirement annuities. Let me repeat that. More than one out of every $6 of Americans' long-term savings is in permanent life insurance and retirement annuities. As you're watching this, my question to you is, is your dollar a part of that $6? Hmm. The life insurance industry generates 2.5 million U.S. jobs. Life insurance invests $5.6 trillion in the U.S. economy. They've been doing this for over 200 years of protecting American families. So let's look at the need. What, is, what are the middle income America looking for? Well, they're looking for something to protect them in case of illness. People with different chronic conditions face common problems, including enormous bills that can mean bankruptcy for some families. 
By the year 2020, the number of people living with chronic conditions is expected to rise to 157 million. That's a lot of people. Disability, 45% of 40-year-olds will experience a disability during their working years that will last 90 days or more. 80% of today's 20-year-olds will experience a disability that will last 90 days or more before age 65. And that's a problem. And a lot of people don't know. Life insurance. Americans are underinsured. Only 47% of U.S. households own any individual life insurance. More than one in four men and one in three women have no life insurance coverage at all. And that's sad. And that's why we cannot move forward. Because if you're not set, leaving a legacy for your family, who do you expect to do it for you? Retirement. Almost half of Americans have saved less than $50,000. And 15% say they've saved nothing towards retirement plan. Man, ain't that something, folks? Almost half of Americans have saved less than $50,000 in the richest country of the world. I mean, how can only, 50, I mean, 46%, they've saved nothing. And 15% say they've saved nothing towards retirement at all. 15%, they didn't, have, they didn't save nothing. That's crazy. At age 65, the, no, the odds are nearly one in two that you require nursing home service for at least 2.5 years at age 65. Mm. So the average consumer cannot afford the individual policy approach, which means to purchase a disability income plan. They're like, man, I can't afford to just buy a policy for disability. I know I need it, but I can't afford it. They can't afford to put money away in retirement. We just saw the statistics earlier where 15% say they, can't, they haven't saved anything towards retirement plan. Can you blame them? Big people are, paying, are in so much debt in America. Accelerated living benefits. That's your long-term care. In case you have to go to a nursing home or any of those things. Well, again, it costs money to do that. Again, people can't afford to do it. How about life insurance? Well, I mean, some people are saying, well, I, I need to feed myself before I start purchasing a life insurance policy. So it's hard for people to have all four things. So what we've done, we say, you know what, why don't we bring a, a solution to that middle income America that cannot afford to purchase all four? Why don't we just put everything in one where we have four unrealistic premiums become one affordable solution? Thank God today there's a lot of companies that are doing this type of program for a lot of people. So, Middle America Consumer, this is our crusade. This is our mission. This is why I'm doing this video, because I need you to come join us and help us sing this song. And while you're helping us help other families, you also help yourself in, as well, because you're not only going to understand about the rules to the money game, you're also going to understand how to take care of your family. See, here's our mission statement with American Classic Agency. It says, we help middle American families identify and resolve critical financial matters that they've not addressed and of which they may not even be aware of. Our company, American Classic ACA, is recognized as a leader in the financial service industry. So life event story. Here's a quick story. This is, we have two couples. Again, this is hypothetical, of course, but I just want to paint a picture so you kind of see how powerful life insurances, and some of the things that can be used when it comes to a life insurance policy that the new, I call it the new type of life insurance, not the old type, because the old type wouldn't do all this that I'm about to share with you. So just in case you've never seen this before, let me share the story with you. So here's a young married couple, both age 35. They, they stand on autobiography. That means they're in pretty okay health. They both have a three, they have a three-year-old son and can afford to put a combined $300 per month into the policy. That's $150 each. That's all they can afford. Now, their needs. They're looking for financial protection in the event of debt to make sure, you know, something happens, my three-year-old will be taken care of. Critical in case of a heart attack, stroke, kidney failure, chronic illness, 
they cannot perform two out of six of activities of daily living. Or terminal illness, that's cancer. The doctors say you have six months to live, a year to live. They want to protect against that because you just, I call those financial earthquakes. What happens if a financial earthquake comes and takes, you know, and, and attacks your, your, your financial plan? What would you do? You become disabled. You become critically ill, you know, heart attacks. So what would you, how would that affect your family's finances? Then they also want cash reserves that may be used for emergencies, college expenses, or retirement. Again, this is not the key to your retirement or college plan, but you know what? It's a supplement just for you in case you don't have something. At least this is something. I always believe half a loaf of bread is better than no bread at all. So, with the $300 a month, they're able to get a $300,000 face amount each. And it has living benefits. It has critical illness, chronic illness, terminal illness, plus cash accumulation. Again, every policy we offer is different. So you got to, you know, you sit down but they, and talk to a financial advisor, of course, to see what benefits does your company provide. But we have this. So life event number one, one year after the policy is approved, is issued, the husband suffers a, a severe heart attack. And the company, he was able to access $65,000 from his life insurance policy. Imagine that. He used $15,000 for, for medical expenses. Folks, we all know how expensive medical, health, health medical expenses are. Then he used $50,000 for a down payment on a house. Because life happens, folks. Life happens. 15 years into the policy, their son goes to college. The couple uses the cash value in the wife's policy to help pay for college expenses. They were able to take out $5,000 a year. That's, I mean, of course, that's not going to do a whole lot, but it's going to do something. Maybe buy books or whatever. But it's, they're contributing what they can because it's hard for this family but he's still able to contribute something. That's $20,000 that they were able to take out from the insurance policy. Now, the couple retires at age 65 with a combined cash value of 225000 Yes, this is the type of policy that builds cash value. Now, do we have term insurance? Of course we do. We offer term insurance. We offer term insurance with living benefits. We offer term insurance with return of premium. We offer term insurance with no return of premium. So again, the key is we design a product based on what your needs are. Whatever it is that you want, that you feel comfortable with, is what we're going to offer you. Now, they're able to stop paying premiums and take $50,000 in cash from husband's policy for a down payment on a vacation condo. And that's some nice stuff. But remember, the key word is they stop paying premiums. They stop paying premiums. At age 79, the wife becomes chronically ill and enters the nursing home. And the company was able to accelerate 1% of her debt benefit each month. Monthly benefit is $2,200 per month. Total over 60 months, $132,000. Again, from her life insurance policy. This is key, folks. Very, very strong. Life event number five. Four years later, at age 83, the husband is terminally ill, two years or less to live, with congestive heart failure. The policy debt benefit has grown to $650,000. Because again, it's cash value. It grows, the debt benefit grows with the cash value. This is a, 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 what they call a universal life policy. So that's why it's able to do that. And option B, you know, which is the increase in their benefit, just to explain that to you so you can understand how did it get there. It's option P of the universal life contract. They accelerate 250000 of the debt benefit and receive 235000 After medical expenses of 85000 they give 150000 to their child. Remember now, he's an adult now. Final life event, folks, life happens. A year beyond, they both pass away at age 86. 
the remaining debt benefit of $630,000 is earmarked for the grandchildren's college fund. Man, ain't that something? This is the whole value of what we're talking about. Now their grandchild has a secure future for college. He doesn't have to go through what his dad went through. So when we look at the benefits that this provides, a lot of benefits, totaling $1.2 million. How much did they spend? They spent $108,000 in premium and they received $1.2 million. Now, of course, again, like I said, this is hypothetical, but you know what? It's just giving you a concept, an idea that the kind of policies that we offer, this is what it can do for a client. So how do you find your clients? Do you have to go door knocking? No. Do you have to go stand on a metro station and, and prospect people? No, you don't have to do that. Do you have to go to the malls? No, you don't have to do that. We provide you leads, quality, quality leads. Our company has been doing leads since 1995. We're pioneers in the lead business and we are still doing it. We own our own lead company. We have our mail house. We have our own, we have everything. Our leads are exclusive to our sales force. We don't sell leads to 20, 30 agents buying the same lead. When you get a lead, that lead belongs to you because we believe we want our agents to spend 90% of their time selling and 10% of the time prospecting. So we support you with a lead program. We have mortgage protection leads. Mortgage protection, what is that? Those are people that just bought a mortgage. You know, they all just refinance their mortgage. That they're looking to protect it in case of disability, criticalness, terminal illness, chronic illness. They want to say, you know, to help them pay their mortgage just in case they become sick. We have a program. We could do with term insurance. It doesn't matter. Term term return of premium or universal life. It does or a whole life. It doesn't matter. We design it based on what a person can afford because that's very, very key. Affordability. Final expense. We have that. Small business programs. We have that. Long-term care, Medicare supplement leads, annuities. We have all this to help you and help you generate business and, and help your clients. Our product portfolio, we believe we have the best product in the industry. I mean, whatever a client is looking for, we can provide. Term insurance, they want term, we have brokerage term. They're very, very inexpensive. We have that. We have mortgage term. We're not medical. Up to 250000 in some cases up to 400000 we're not med. Up to age 65. No blood tests, no urine, no parliament. That's huge. Permanent life insurance, index universal life, universal life, whole life, simplified issue available. All these products we have. Annuities, we have that. Final expense, we have. Long-term care, we offer. We have riders. See, riders are the key, folks. I mean, we have a guaranteed lifetime income rider. It's a free rider that comes with every casualty policy that we sell. What does that do? It guarantees your client income for the rest of their life, just like an annuity payout. But the difference is they do not need to annuitize. Once they start receiving income from the insurance policy, we'll pay them that income for the rest of their life so they do not outlive their money, which we've seen happen to so many people when it comes time for retirement, where they receive money for retirement income for four years and then they have no no more money in their retirement account. We don't want that to happen to our clients. If they built up, we guarantee security for retirement on our life product and on an annuity product. So we have it on life insurance and annuities as well. We have critical illness, free benefit for, we pay a lump sum for heart attack, stroke, kidney failure, terminal illness, critical injury. That's huge folks, nursing home, chronic illness. Those are all free riders that come with a plan. Then we also have disability income that will pay monthly income if a person is disabled or sick and unable to work. And we have programs with on, own occupation disability. That's a big deal. We also have programs with any occupation disability. And we have disability incomes that are retroactive 
from day one, starting after the 90 day waiting period, it's retroactive back to day from day one. So for example, if your disability income is $2,000 a month, after the 90th day, on the 91st day, you're gonna get a check for $6,000. And then the company will pay you $2,000 going forward for two years. That's a big deal. We also have unemployment riders that's also available in some states. Some states doesn't have it, but it's available. And we have guaranteed insurability rider. That's a big rider for kids. I mean, folks, I don't know about you. Do you know children with diabetes? Do you know children that have gotten health issues as they got older? Well, this rider guarantees a child coverage regardless of their health issues in the future. That is big. This is our CEO and president of American Classic Agency. This is some of the stuff that he said. Not if, nothing is more empowering than entrepreneurship. That's huge. Commitment to the sales force, agent force philosophy. Those are the key stuff. And that's why I've been with this organization since 1999, folks. That's a long time. My company, folks, Lago Financial Service, founded in 1998. We've been the top agency with American Classic Agency because it's like a franchise. So you get an opportunity to brand your company as you become one of our leaders, okay? We have offices in Maryland, Virginia, Florida, and Texas, and some other places because we have agents all over the country. So our agents is expanding and growing, and that's huge for us. This is our leadership team. We have a number of good-looking people that are working with us. I'm so excited with this team right here. And we're always looking to add more to our leadership team, okay? We're always looking to add more. We have enrolled agents on our team. We have CPAs. We have CFPs. We have great financial advisors that work with us, that have been with us for a long time, seven years, eight years. We have accountants. I mean, we have PhDs in, in, in different things, folks. So I'm just so excited about our team, folks and you get to meet all these people. So what are we looking for, folks? What are we looking for? Well, we're looking for somebody with raw intelligence, with a great work ethic, that is coachable. And one thing I always add to that three is somebody with a, a heart, a heart to win and to help people. Those are the things we're looking for. So now how do you get paid? You've seen all the great things. How do I get paid? I know you're probably asking that question. Well, let's look at it. One thing that we've done in our company is say, you know what? We have first we have what we call the road to the top, where you know exactly what you have to do to climb up the ladder. Okay. Our mortgage term products, we go up to 135% contract. We have 21 levels of override. And you get promoted every three months, every three months. Now, folks, our associate producers start at a level one, which is a 50% contract. I'm going to explain that on the next screen what that means, all the way to 125%. So here's an example of what we're talking about. So let me get my highlighter real quick. I'm just going to write on this on the board so you, you could kind of see what I mean. So let me get a pen. So what is uh, what does a fifty percent contract mean? Well, let's say you 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 meet a client that gives you a check for hundred dollars. Okay. So what we do is the 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 insurance company assume your clients are going to pay their premium for twelve months. So that's twelve months right there. They're going to pay the premium for twelve months. So that's twelve hundred dollars. If you had a 50% contract, which is our level one, 50%, you're going to make on that deal $600 for the, you know, of course, we advance 75% of it. So we're going to advance you 75% of $600. So the amount that is going to go in your bank account is $450. That's the amount that goes into your bank account. Now, the other $150, which is the remainder, will be split on the 10th, 11th, and 12th months. So that's $50 each month, and you get that. 
So it's still going to total $600. Does that make sense? Hope you understand it. So I just want to kind of take a few minutes and explain it to you. So again, you get a check for $100. You multiply by 12 months. And at a 50% contract, you make $600. But because they didn't give you a total of $1,200 check, because the client didn't give you a check for $1,200, they only give you a check for $100. You get, instead of cutting you a check for $600, we're gonna give you an advance, which is nine months of money, which is 75% of the $600, which comes out to $450. Now, on the 10th and 11th month, you get the remainder of your money, which is the $150 right there, split among three months. And that's it, folks. So you get that. And now, you know, a lot of agents get into the business for renewals. Is there renewals? Yeah, there's renewals. But it's not something you're going to write home about and become rich over. So just wanted to put that out there just in case. So let me go back to our situation. So here's a, 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 a gentleman, Barry, that's his name. He's at a 85% contract, and he goes out and he helps five families secure their financial future. And each family give him a check for $100 a month, which is the, the premium we're gonna use, $100 a month. He gets a check for $100 a month from each family. So there's five families. So that was $500, okay? Now, He's going to get paid because he's at 85%. 85% of $6,000 for the year is $5,100. So he makes, a, he makes commission on, on that amount. He makes $5,100. Now, Barry goes out there and recruits Mary. Mary helps five families because she sees what her up plan, her manager is doing. He's trained her. He's taking the time to train Mary. Now, why do I like this so much? This is so unique, folks. Pay attention to this. See, just because Barry introduced Mary to the business doesn't mean he's going to make any money. He needs to take the time and train and work with Mary and get Mary to become successful. Once she becomes successful and she now starts going out and doing the same thing he trained her to do, then he's going to get rewarded for doing that. And I'm going to show that to you in a few. But right now, Mary goes out there and helps five families and she gets paid $3,000. Now, Barry also hired Sue and brought her in again as a business partner, just like he brought Mary in. Now, she makes, she goes out, she's at a 55% contract. She goes out and helps five families at $100 a month. Same thing, she makes $3,300 because she's 5% more. Now, look at Joe. Joe's excited, he's happy. He goes out, he does the same thing. He's on a higher contract. He's at a 65% commission level. He goes out and he helps five families as well. Again, Joe makes $3,900. Now, remember what I said. Because Barry took the time to work with each one of these people, trained them, motivated them, helped them. When they were going through a rough time, when they got, you know, he, he stood there with them. Now they, they, they're self-sufficient. They don't need to go out with Barry anymore. He doesn't need to take them out on training anymore. Now, because they're all self-sufficient and they're going out there and doing the business themselves, for Joe, Barry will get an override commission of $1,200 just for helping Joe become successful. Again, he works with Mary, uh, Sue, it, he gets $1,800. Again, because he got Mary to be successful, he gets $2,100. Now, you think about this. You probably had a job right now, and you've trained people at your job. Let me ask you this question. Do you make any money for training someone at your job? Do they pay you anything? Do they say, hey, you train this person? Here's a check. Thank you. I know you're probably saying, no, they do not. You're probably so pissed. Well, we do. You get an override for training people. Because Barry did that. His monthly income is $10,200. $10,200. His whole organization helped 20 people. 
in his whole organization. That's huge, folks. That is huge. So we, I have another chart here that I just want to kind of cover real quick. See, you could become a builder with us, just like Barry. So what we've done, I increased the numbers a little bit and reduced the, the level. So now we're starting at 80%. But you go on out there, your personal production is $7,500. So instead of, you know, um, 6000 you added $1,500 more to that. So you helped a little bit more people. But you're going to make a $6,000 commission check on that commission, on that product. Now, your, your organization, because you remember the override, because you also took and trained some people, and they had, um, you're getting a 15% spread off of the team. But your team produced total $11,250. Well, because you train those people, the company is going to send you a check for $1,688. Your total monthly commission is $7,688. Now, check this out. This $11,000 production could have been done by one person or two people that did that. But it doesn't matter. The spread is the spread. That's $7,000. That's a $92,000 annual income of a one or two people in your organization. So you don't need to recruit the wall. This is not recru a recruiting contest, a recruiting game. You know, work, take your time and build your business. Now, at 85% level, same production criteria, you're still doing the same thing, but you get a little bit more money, $375. But look at your team. Maybe your team grew a little bit. Now, you, instead of doing 11000 they did 15000 Guess what? You make $2,250 in override. That's $103,000 annual income. You're at a higher level, 90%. Your team production is more. They're doing $30,000 now. You are the 20% spread. That's a $6,000 commission on a monthly basis. Folks, look at that. That's $12,000 annual uh, monthly commission. That's $150,000 in annual income. And it goes on and on. Look at that. Now you did $10,000 in production yourself. You make $7,125 because you are at 95%. Your production for the team is still the same. You make $7,500 in override, $14,000 monthly income, $175,000 annual commission. Folks, the reason we have this up here that says minimum rolling in three months, that means you get promoted every three months. So you could be at this level and you move to this level in your first quarter of the year second quarter of the year, third quarter of the year, and fourth quarter of the year. In one year, you could be at a 100% contract. What company, what organization can that happen? Man, I don't know. Well, let's keep it going. And I didn't even say this before I missed this. You also get a bonus for doing what you do best, which is helping families. We pay bonuses on a monthly basis. We pay bonuses on a quarterly basis. We pay bonuses on an annual basis. And guess what? You do not have to be a manager to get a bonus. You can be at level one and in your commission bonus. And we have bonuses that don't have chargebacks to them. We have bonuses that you get paid on submitted business. Just by you submitting the business, you get a bonus saying, thank you, we appreciate you. So this just breaks down our monthly cash bonus like I said earlier, we have personal bonuses for post people on a personal production level. We have a base shop bonus for managers that have teams under them. We have base shop builders for managers that have produced other base shops. And we have what we call the hierarchy bonus. So a person could actually, I call it, they could dip into the bonus pool four times. So why do our agents love us? We, I, we always say we're often imitated, but never duplicated. These are all the stuff that our company, American Classic, brings to the table. Commission advances, we do that on submitted application. Yes, some companies, they really do it. Leads, qualified, exclusive, 
and fully financed. Yes, other companies, they really have that. It, it, cash bonuses, monthly, quality, annual bonus, yes. Other companies really have it. 21 levels of override, 22 level of pro promotion. Yes, other companies really have it. Incentive trips, yes. Where you go, you could travel all over the world. Other companies sometimes have trips. Advertising financial corporate, where you could, the company will support you in advertising to build your business. We'll, we'll, we'll support you and we'll, we'll put our money there too. Yes. A lot of companies never do that. Gold and diamond performance rings. Yes. Sometimes with other companies. Published promotion and commission guidelines. Yes. Other companies sometimes. All of the above, we do it all the time, every day, every month, every year. We've never failed. Other companies never so folks, incentives, incentives, incentives. This is the, the reward that says, you know what? You've done good, thank you. We appreciate you, you've helped so many families. Now you need to relax, enjoy your family. We go, we take you on exotic trips all over the world. You know, we also give you our bonus uh, uh, rings to let you, to celebrate your success. And we have cash bonuses to also celebrate your success. So folks, there's three types of people that's watching this video right now. One person will say, you know what, Douglas, thank you for the information at this time. I'm just gonna pass, but we'll keep your information and share with others that I might know. Thank you, I appreciate you. You know, just share the information. You just never know who might be interested in doing the business that might need a part-time income. Just because it doesn't work for you, don't mean it might not work for somebody else. The second type of person would be somebody that says, you know what, thank you for the information. I'm not interested in becoming an insurance agent. Because man, insurance agent, huh, I don't want to do that. But you know what? I would love to own a living benefit life insurance policy for my family. Again, for you, that person, if you're that person, thank you. And yes, we can help you with that. We could help you structure a plan for you and your family. You know, it's so important to have that. So please, at the end, I'm gonna show our office number, call us for an appointment and we could set up something for you. Number three person is a person that says, man, thank you so much for the information. I love to do this on a part-time basis or full-time basis. You know, I'm currently, with, I'm currently licensed, I'm not licensed, I'm currently licensed, I'm working with this other organization, but man, they've, said this, they're gonna do this, but they've, they've never delivered. They've promised, they promised me this when I, when I was signing my papers, but I just never, I've not seen it. I don't get no support, no training. I don't have any of that. So I really wanna come on board and work with you. Or you could be the person that you say, I don't know nothing about the financial service industry. I don't know about insurance, but I do wanna do this business. I love that product. I, wanna, I know people that this product will benefit. Well, if that person is you, we're looking for you. So please, let's see what's the next step. What do you have to do? Very simple. Next step is for you to contact the individual that shared this video with you. Tell them that you are ready to complete your act paperwork. It's a simple paperwork, not very intrusive. We just want to know a little bit about you. Make sure that, you know, you're good to go. Or you could call our office at 301-220-3555. For a one-on-one -on -one interview. And, um, and if you're the person looking for a product, yeah, definitely call our office and we could put somebody in touch with you that is in your local area. So again, you know, I'll say thank you so much. And once this is done, you're open for business. All we have to do is just train and work with you. With that, folks, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to watch this video and um, I appreciate the time that you share with me this evening or this morning or whatever time you're watching this. Thank you again and uh, looking forward to learning more about you and we'll see you all at the top. Thanks and have a great day.